I'm installing the Stackon in-wall security cabinet. This is the cabinet unit, and this is the hardware. The hardware includes a logo sign, four small screws, four washers, and four long screws. This is completely optional, but I like making a pattern of the cabinet's back. I use one piece of scrap cardboard. This will be a lot easier to handle than the cabinet itself when fitting into position. Simply trace around the back and cut the pattern out. Test the size and then set aside. Next, pick the location of where you want the cabinet installed. Use the pattern to visualize the spot and make a mark on the wall at the top and bottom of the pattern. Use painter's tape to better visualize the marks and then use a stud finder to find the studs in the wall. Then mark the edges of these studs using painter's tape. The studs are usually 16 inch on center in most houses. Use a tape measure to double check. Now take the cardboard pattern and check for size, making sure the cabinet will fit in this span. Using a level, strike a line along the bottom marks and along the top marks of the cabinet's back dimensions. Next, use an awl or a nail to find the edge of the studs. If there's a mistake, then the small holes are way easier to patch. Once the studs are physically identified, the marks can then be cut. I prefer using a drywall saw to make my cut. However, if you're worried about unseen objects in the wall, like pipes or electrical wire, then use a utility knife with the blade extended just deep enough to get through the drywall. Since I actually built this wall, I'm certain of what lies behind it, and will use my drywall saw. Once I completed the bottom cut, I then make the top cut. The sides are easy. You simply cut straight down, using the studs as a guide to keep the blade from wandering. Next, use the blade of the saw to pry out the piece. If you are cutting on an exterior wall, you will have insulation behind the drywall. The insulation can be stripped down to size or can be cut out. Since this wall is below ground, I have concrete walls behind it. I'm choosing to cut the piece out for a better fit. This is totally optional. Once the insulation has been removed, take the cabinet and fit it for size. Decide which direction you want the door to swing. To change directions, you simply turn the cabinet upside down. To make the cabinet fit perfect, it's a good idea to fill in the space around its perimeter. Take the cardboard that represents the back of the cabinet and place it in the wall void. Note the gap that needs to be filled. I found that a piece of drywall was the perfect filler for this size gap. Measure, cut, and secure a piece to the stud using drywall screws. Next, refit the cabinet in the wall. Once satisfied with the fit, open the door and locate the mounting holes located in the sides of the cabinet. Now take a long screw from the hardware package and add on a washer. Using a screwdriver or a drill driver, secure the cabinet through the mounting holes to the stud. Make sure you hold the cabinet firmly in place during the installation. Repeat this process on both sides of the cabinet. Next, install the shelves. Note the mounting holes on the back edge. Using the small screws, place the shelf in the desired location and line the mounting holes up with the holes in the back of the cabinet. There are several holes available to adjust the height that you want. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten into place. Make sure you do not over tighten, you do not want to strip the threads. If you want extra security for holding heavier items, I recommend adding another screw through the side mounting holes of the shelves. To do this, drill a hole using a drill bit that is slightly smaller in diameter than your screw. I decided to use a 2 inch deck screw for securing this shelf into place. Repeat this process on the other side of the shelf. 
Finish by installing the shelf liners. Repeat this process on the next shelf. Next, shut the door and snap the logo sign into the pre-drilled holes on the door. Simply line up the plugs on the back of the sign with the holes on the door and snap in the place using a light bump of the hand. Finally, conceal the cabinet by covering it with a decorative picture. The wall cabinet is now ready to use.